Live with a 13-year-old accused of murder after a shooting at a gas station in Marion. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at this case as well. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke to the victim's family and has their reaction to this violence. Just a few hours after the deadly shooting, police tracked the young suspect down to this home behind me and took him into custody. While the accused killer is a juvenile, the victim's family hopes he is held accountable for his actions. Just before 8 o'clock Monday night, Marion police were called to this Circle K and found a man lying in the front door, shot in the chest. 24-year-old Byron Dennis Jr. died after being rushed to the hospital. It's tough. It's really tough. It's just... It's just unfortunate. This is this. Uh, he just has so much life to him. Jasmine says her brother was into personal fitness training and loved to make music under the name The Heartbreak Kid. Well, hold up. Wait. <laughs> what kind of music is this? Don't, it sounds like he's a singer. Yeah. Yo, yo, the craziest part of this story act is the fact that nothing's going to happen to that kid. What are they going to do to that kid? Right? He's 13. He's a baby. 13, yeah, 18, may keep him till he's 18, but you know they're not going to do that. Probably not. Uh, no. Make music under the name The Heartbreak Kid. But if only I know what I know now. In addition to his art, Byron always looked after his older siblings. He was like a protect, like even though he was a younger brother, he protected me through a lot. Anybody that interacted with Byron, they loved him. While police wouldn't confirm many well, details about what happened in the gas station. Yeah, who's this? How did it, you know what, though? 13 year old 13 year old could have said something like could have been out there like hanging out the gas station while i'm trying to bump money or some shit or you know what i'm saying you know just you know how black neighborhoods people hang out at the gas stations yeah yeah he could have been man. doing something like that and then the sun man he comes in to get gas and the dude like um he said, man, like, hey, can I, can I, um, like, on some water boy shit or on some squeegee boy shit? Yeah, like, yeah, yo, that shit yeah, let me get something, blah, blah, blah. And then he, like, nah, man, I ain't got it, da, 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 da. And then, or, 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 or ignore them or something. And some man, yeah. the words are exchanged. And then he, like, man, shorty, man, 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 you better, you better shut your little ass up. You better, man, you better get the fuck on, little boy. Like what? <laughs> bom, bom, bom. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I think it was maybe he stared at him too long. He stared at him the wrong way, right? Maybe. Yeah, look maybe. at those eyes, those piercing eyes, man. He probably did, man. Um, <laughs> listen, man. It 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 it. it, it that's, what, a, that's killing for sure. Looking at some man with those eyes. For twenty four to get killed by thirteen, I'm thinking I'm going to go out on the limb. Yeah, the way you put it was a, good. This was a chance encounter. A squeegee boy in kind of no, 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 no. Yeah. In addition to his art, Byron always looked after his older siblings. He was like a protect, like even though he was a younger brother, he protected me through a lot. Anybody that interacted with Byron, they loved him. While police wouldn't confirm many details about what happened in the gas station, the victim's family claims Byron stopped at the store to buy some items when the teenage suspect tried to rob him and uh, shot the victim with oh, plane yeah. jacking by a 13 year old with a gun okay, at a gas yeah. station which you know all 13 year olds do uh, from all groups yeah, they're all out there at gas stations uh, yeah. jugging people yeah. we, we got to keep these kids engaged you know they and then shooting down, them to death when they don't comply right downtime is the time I better keep these kids busy and engaged you know um, mentorships and whatnot at least we can be confident in the knowledge that it'll never be some 10 year olds out here at the gas station with guns killing people for no reason. Wait, wait, uh, wait, that wait, will wait, never wait. happen, I can confidently say. Oh, you'd be sarcastic. Good one. Yeah, of course. You are Get me going. Get me going. I... Surely there's a, you know, we know that there's a lower limit to the possibility of, you know, the dawn yeah. of violence in the sun child. Can, can you imagine? A 13-year-old tiger or gladiator kid doing this? I could see it an Obrigo kid doing it. It would be all over black Twitter. See, look, they didn't even lock him up. Like he they <laughs> their children, the black people be whining that the kid didn't get 20 years and shit. Right. Um right. <laughs> this is when our kids do stuff like this, they throw away the key. This guy is 
Right. It would be like a bunch of nonsense. Yes. This is this is insane, man. This is so fucked up. Where, where's Marion at? Do you, like, Marion's in Indiana. Like... Marion is where um Zach Randolph is from. Marion is oh, a okay. gang so... infested yeah. Sunland. Yo, yo I uh, being a, a sun rapper has to be the number one most dangerous occupation, man. Deadliest number in the world. one. A sun musician, yeah. A sun, a sun, yeah. be, being doing sun music, yeah. Gotta be number one. Barbers, a lot of barbers be killed. Too. Victim's see, family see claims rappers. Byron stopped at the store to buy some items when the teenage suspect tried to rob him and shot the victim with his own gun. The kid reached in his pocket, oh, pulled out the gun. Oh, what? Hold on, let me see. What's it? Shot him with his gun? He said Happened his at the gas gun. station, the victim's family claims Byron stopped at the store to buy some items when the teenage suspect tried to rob him and shot the victim with his own gun. The oh, kid reached in his pocket, pulled out the gun, and shot my brother in the chest. The bullet went straight through his chest, through his back. Because the suspect was seen on surveillance video, police quickly arrested the 13-year-old at this home for murder and robbery. You're just a baby. You made a really, really bad decision. At a really young age. A really bad decision. Kind of bad. Kind of bad decision. Not that big of a You mean a a catastrophic fucking you 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 this isn't wasn't a dis baby that's the sister. That's his sister, man. man. She calls it a bad decision. Well she called him a baby. If she calls it a bad decision, man, I, we'll just rock out with bad decisions. <laughs> Those are poor, poor choices. Poor choices. Yeah, poor choice, man. It Unfortunate just, decision, yeah. 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 Back. Because the suspect was seen on surveillance video, police quickly arrested the 13-year-old at this home for murder and robbery. You're just a baby. You made a really, really bad decision. At a really young age. As for where the suspect will go to court, the prosecutor confirms they will petition a judge in Grant County to hold a hearing about waiving the suspect from juvenile to adult court. Oh, but that process is it. not automatic. Nah, um, shout out to Boy Kachina, man. Boy Kachina in the building. He says, real talk, we'll take a walk. What's happening, nation? What's happening with you, man? Um, yo, yo I, it's unfortunate because two lives were ruined. This day. Exactly, the, man. The Two lives were ruined, dudes. man. Even though salute the kids to, life is not really ruined necessarily. Salute to um Deluxe 247, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Um let's let Soul. Soul, you've been you've been watching the show, man. No, nah, I just got in about 10 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, I know he's only 13, and my heart goes out to he just threw his whole life away. Yo, but you took a life from us. Right, right. Yo, no solution. We're fucked. We're fucked. Her heart goes out. Like, even if it did, you don't say that. It's so disrespectful to your brother. Right. It's right. not like your brother slapped the shit out of him and he shot him, and it was like a poor decision. Like, you, you could have fought him or you could have... Look, he robbed your brother and Man. blew his fucking back out. I mean, it's like almost a tacit admission of robbery is a legitimate occupation for a 13 year old. It's like, yeah, I know you'd be out here robbing, but you ain't had to kill him like that. <laughs> that was Yo, a bad decision. But it's almost like an instinct for some people, it seems, to like focus on the offender. Like, Fuck the kid. He's, he's first of all, he's not a baby. I think it's a effect of their very, very, very strong in group bias. Yeah, it's, it's only because he's black. Rapers. Yeah, it's only because he's black. Trust me, he was yeah, true. any other group true, that, that yeah. wouldn't. And he, I wonder really how much true. she has to say this shit in order to not be fucking ostracized. No, she I, feels I, like I, even that. She, this is just what she feels, and then that, that's why it explains the hypersensitivity when other groups do it to them. Yeah, we've talked about that. Where like when it happens, it's like an outlet, right? Like they could like find. That's really what they feel. Like it's like when a person does it. That's just expected. 
and they bottled it up. But when a glider does it to them, now they could express all that uh, angst. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely yeah. man. Um, like if if this was a glider thirteen year old who did this, man, she would be standing there with like a lawyer with a, a cheap suit on, um, a bunch of of them fucking mammies from the church. It'd be. It would be like a whole bunch of people with her right there, and they would be like making a statement, like about, you know, like how the, this was just a big deal, and we, and this would be the like, trauma. you know, yeah, it yeah. would be a huge deal. She just standing here by her fucking self. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but look at this story. I like the common themes, right? A thirteen year old, a black thirteen year old robbing somebody. Killing them, a sister calling him a baby, almost like you know, focusing on him. The fucking the, the black man rapper. It's like all of these common things all the fucking time. Oh yeah, yeah. He would have been. It would have been considered a lynching. <laughs> it was thirteen year old glad he could do. Oh yeah, absolutely. He would have. They would have. The media said. Some, media would just say. Some say it's a lynching. <laughs> that thirteen year old knew what he was doing. Yeah, and then they find like some fucking picture of some baby dressed in a clan outfit in the 1920s and be like, it's been there the yeah. whole time. Yeah. That kid had hate in his eyes. Yeah, he had hate in his eyes. It's Tulsa all over. Hearing again. about waiving the suspect from juvenile to adult court, but that process is not automatic. I know he's only 13, and my heart goes out to he just threw his whole life away, but you took a life from ours. You took an important and a strong and powerful life from ours. It was like, I don't, I don't want to slap on a wrist for him. Finally, after being arrested, the suspect was go. transported to another county to be detained pending the filing of formal charges. Jesse 